Where are we going, Miranda? Going to Warp Tour. Yeah, we're walking. There was no traffic this morning. That never happened, so it's probably gonna snow today. We are so early, it's ridiculous. <laughs> we haven't been this early since 2008. <laughs> I don't know. Great memories. Got the sunblock on. America. We got America over we got here. America. We're all set. Miranda, what do you love about Warp Tour? I just love going up to people and saying random stuff. Oh, that's good. We're on top of the world. Here we go. We got in early today because we put it out for the universe. They told us that the gates open at 12.30 and we would have had to wait two and a half hours in line. And we're like, oh, that sucks. So we're like, maybe there's something we can do. Like, ask one of these bands over here because they're all parked there. Can we help them with their shit? And some girl comes walking up out of nowhere and she's like, hey guys, we're looking for two people to help us hang banners. And we're like, we'll do it. And it was awesome. I have a new perspective on people that work at Warp Tour and I will talk more about that later. But we we were special for like an hour and a half. It was awesome. Open that pit up, Pennsylvania. This is where it begins.
are calling it a day. Oh my gosh, I think we saw enough bands to make everything worth it. Yeah. They were all amazing. We're actually leaving kind of early, but we saw everybody we wanted to see. We had a good time. Absolutely. And we're old people, so we're, we're tired. We're like the right we need to go home. 26. Yeah, so. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, so all right, well, had a great time and saw some people that I haven't seen in a long time and had a lot of fun throwing down in the pit. Vans Warped Tour 2017. Yeah, signing off. So. Peace. This is my post warped vlog, vlog video. First of all, had an amazing day. We volunteered um, and we got in early. There was like nobody there. It was, it was the craziest thing. And I mentioned before how I have this like new respect for people, like the crew that works there. They get up in the morning and they set these they set the venue up, like the tents, the stages, everything. And it's just like, to see that happening, to be like mixed up in that, I have a whole new respect for people that actually do that every single day of the tour. It worked out for us, like instead of us having to wait in line, like two hours or whatever, two and a half hours, we got in, got to experience that. One of my favorite bands, Fit For A King, our vocalist, he was just sitting at the table just chilling there at his tent and I just happened to walk over and I'm like because I was curious I'm like hey what guy, what time are you guys playing and he was like hold on I have to find out and he's like look at his phone and he told me like and it's just so nice to see those people behind the scenes where like people there's like no fangirls it's just your people and that's how I always looked at bands and I I mean when I was younger probably there was that fangirl aspect but I still looked at them as people going to several warp tours like you kind of learn things you learn to deal with the people there we first got there we went to this one tent and I'm not going to mention the name of the tent because I don't know maybe the person was just having a bad day but it was like right at the entry there and we asked the guy we said okay are you guys set like what what's going on like is this where we come for the early entry and he's like um, well, we're not even set up yet. We don't, st the gates don't open until 1230. It kind of was giving me a little, starting a little bit of shade. And I was like, okay, well then whatever, dude. I feel like a lot of people that tour with bands or go on these music festival tours and they kind of feel like they're better than people and they just think that they can just snoot them and be like rude. I don't know. I'm around people all the time and even if I'm having a bad day, I'm always pleasant to them. You know, so that's just me. But anyway, so we were standing in line. This was after. And this guy comes up to us. At, and this has happened years past. They come up to you with their little CD player. And they're like, here, listen to my songs. Tell me what you think. And then they hand you a CD. And they're like, oh, you know, we could really use a donation and whatever. Uh, he let us listen to one song. I said, I'm sorry. I said, and I had this little backpack. Actually, it wasn't even a backpack. It's like a small purse. And I couldn't really fit anything in it. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I will check you guys out on Facebook. Like, I, I just, I don't really want to put this in my bag right now. You know, I really didn't want to buy a CD after listening to one song. I never buy CDs. I go on Spotify. Like, I don't, th anybody really buy CDs anymore. And, like, he was pushing so hard. Well, if it breaks in your bag, you can go to our Facebook page and just download the, I'm like, okay, that makes no sense. I'm going to spend money, $10, $20 to give you for this CD that if it breaks, I can go listen to for free. I was being so polite to him and he just like walked away. And I'm like, whatever, dude. I'm like, he, with an attitude like that, no one is going to support your band. Maybe these young girls, I think a lot of times what happens is these young girls that go to work tour, they think that these people, even if they're in really small bands like that, they think that, okay, well, they're in a band, they're talking to me, like, oh my God. And they, they, feel bad or they just they get suckered into that and they buy their CDs and I, I hate that. One of the bands said something about you know you can come meet us at our table you don't need to buy anything you don't you know just come and talk to us and that's how Maddie Mullins he said something about you know this CD this is from our newest album if you want to get it you can find it on the internet like we don't care as long as you guys just know the lyrics and that I feel is the most important thing is what these bands should be doing that for is to put the, their message out there and to inspire people and to create art. Going to Warp Tour as an adult, you kind of, things are a little different. Like you're not in that fangirl mode anymore. You're just kind of like, 
like I don't know it's a weird it's a weird experience and you'll understand if you get to my age and you go there it's really fun I I danced to some of the band I really got into it and I, I think I overdid it a little bit that's why I got really tired right away but I don't know I had a great time if you are first time or going to warp tour just please be very cautious there's people that are gonna try to swindle you into things and you know I understand they work hard and they want to try to make a name for themselves but you don't have to be taken advantage of and I also want to say that the people that do if you are somebody you're watching this video that actually works at Warp Tour you're a volunteer or you work behind the scenes like kudos to you for doing that every single day if you went to Warp Tour let me know who your favorite bands were or just let me know how your experience was and if you didn't go yet let me know what you're excited about and that is all I have for today so have a good one guys I love you. Goodbye.